For my first deck of Rise of Shadows, I'm going to be playing some Muck Morpher Shaman. So the payoff for the Muck Morpher is that you hit like Zilliax, Alakir, Walking Fountain, and trade into some aggro boards on turn 5 very efficiently and possibly even lifesteal. Or against Control, you can hit Big Bad Archmage and get some sick value out of that. Or sometimes you get Malagos and Malagos occasionally does something. And for redundancy with the Muck Morpher, we also have Eureka. Uh, Eureka is what makes the Malagos a lot more playable, because it's not actually the greatest Muck Morpher target. And then other than that, we can't really play any other minions, because they interfere with the Muck Morpher. So just throw in the best Shaman spells we can find. We're playing Hagatha's Scheme, because it's a pretty good control Shaman board clear. Lightning Storm has a smaller board clear. Farsight, Hex... Lickum, Reign of Toads, just because they're all good cards. Ancestral Spirit is a really good card to combo with any of the big stuff, especially like if Muck Morpher hits Malagos. You just drop Ancestral Spirit on it, and when it comes back, it's not a 4 4, but a 4 12. And speaking of the Malagos, we also have Double Totemic Smash, Double Lightning Bolt, which with Eureka on the Malagos is a 30 damage combo. Probably doesn't come up very often, but I thought it might be a nice way to potentially win some games against Control. For my 30th card, I'm playing a copy of Mutate. If I hit something not very useful with the Muck Morpher, I can just mutate it into something bigger. Or after value trading with a Walking Fountain or Zilliax or something, just mutate it into something bigger. So hopefully we can queue into some aggro decks and just stay alive. I think the aggro is what we're really looking to run into. And against Control, hopefully we just have enough threats with Muck Morphers, Eurekas, and the Big Bad Arc Mages. Another Shaman, huh? Probably a Murloc Shaman if I had to guess. Um, I definitely want to keep the Muck Morpher, obviously. And if I think I'm up against Aggro, maybe I keep Mutate. Because Big Bad Arc Mage is not a particularly good hit against Aggro. And Malagos is pretty bad. So that leaves me with just Zilliax, Alakir, 2 Walking Fountain. So I'm keeping Mutate because of a 3 out of 7 miss. And like on top of that 3 out of 7, the Mutate has to also be relevant. So I probably toss it. You probably don't keep too many cards in the opener with this deck because Hagatha's scheme is so much better in the opener than any other time. So probably only keep like Scheme, Muck Morpher, um, Lickum, maybe Lightning Storm or Hex, depending on the matchup. And I guess Eureka. I don't know, maybe there's a lot of cards I keep. But I don't think Mutate is one of them. No one drop, so maybe he's not Murloc Shaman. Pretty easy Farsight. A discounted Eureka is really powerful. It's not good with Muck Morpher, obviously, but after I play these two Muck Morphers, anything that I draw is going to be pretty nasty. If I draw absolutely perfectly from here, I think I can just win on turn 7 with uh, Eureka, double Totemic Smash, double Lightning Bolt if I hit Malagos. Very unlikely, obviously. So the Storm Chaser tells me he's... I guess he could still be Murloc, it finds a Bloodlust. But the way he's playing doesn't seem like a Bloodlust deck. But it also tells me he's not a Muck Morpher deck, because this is a really bad target to morph your Muck into. Um, I think my play here is just pass. I could kill this thing with Lightning Bolt, but I really don't want to be overloaded for next turn. Yikes. I wonder if he's playing Sunreaver War Mage, is that what that card's called? Ooh, big bad Archmage, let's go. Um, so against this deck, I probably don't mutate the big bad Archmage. Just let it hit its 6-drop. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't really have any synergy with that. Don't high roll on my Archmage, please. Nice. So that was a 50-50 for him to keep a spider tank in play. That was a big 50-50. Um, what do you say we morph some more muck? Ooh, a 
another big bad Archmage. Um, I could Totemic Smash this thing to protect my big bad Archmage. I do lose out on some OTK potential with that, but I think that's fine. Protecting this big bad Archmage seems pretty good. Oh, I thought it was Karen Bloodhoof when I saw the legendary thing. But Illidan could be quite good. Oh, Hecklebot into my deck. What are you doing, buddy? So, what's the most damage I could do here? I could Hex this thing and then lick it out of the way. This is, what, 17 damage, I think? Even Lightning Bolt his face. I think I'm gonna do most of that, except I'm not gonna lightning bolt his face. Am I ever killing this thing for any reason? Seems like my board is pretty well within the range of his Hagatha's scheme. Let's just hit like that. I could mutate something. Could mutate the Illidan. But I think whatever happens, he's gonna have to board clear this turn. And probably just find a better spot for the mutate later on. Alright, so I keep the Alec here around. And I got the uh the Mossy Horror was big enough to survive as well, so that was nice. Um, let's see here. So I have 3, 6, 8. Lightning Bolt plus this is 14, so I'm 2 off. I don't have any way to kill my Alec here, or else I could Ancestral Spirit and then, like, Lightning Bolt it and kill him, but I don't have a way to deal 5. So I'd probably just go for the Eureka here and mutate this guy, I guess. Could hit with the Lickum here. It does put him into range of spell damage totem plus lightning bolt. But I think I'd rather just have more damage out of it. This guy could be sick with Ancestral Spirit. But I'm not really expecting that to be relevant, I don't think. Alright, another scheme. Doomsayer. Don't do that. That's gross. If I hit spell damage, I can kill the Doomsayer. What if I just set him to one here? Lightning bolt his face. Hit him with a Lickum. He's played one Witch's Brew already. If he's playing like Walking Fountain or Zilliax, I'm not going to have a minion in play for him to heal off of. But I guess just any taunt minion shuts that down. Maybe I kill the Doomsayer and then just get a big bad Archmage in play. I'm gonna set him to one. I think there's value in forcing him to taunt or something. And if it's just Taunt Totem, I have Hagatha's scheme to get through it. And if he does play a taunt, I have this Eureka thing. Plus, through a taunt, I can always just top deck second Lightning Bolt, second Totemic Smash. This is fine. 8 mana to heal 5. Um, let's see. My turn is probably just Eureka, maybe Ancestral Spirit, so I have the ability to totem here, and if I hit spell damage, it's just lethal. That was a good spell damage totem, but I think I was really far ahead there. Woo, top 20. Rogue definitely seems to be the most popular class today. Definitely did not want to draw the Alec here. It's one of my better hits off the Muck Morpher. But that's fine, I've still got all the Lifesteal boys in the deck. Hail, friend. Greetings, friend. 
So Hex on four, Morph on five, Toads on six. Decent curve. People are really in love with Togwaggle, aren't they? I got up to rank 25. I mean, not that that's much of an accomplishment on the first day of the season. But I got up to rank 25 playing a rogue deck that just ignores all this lackey garbage and plays Hook Tusk. Seems way better. But I guess people just want to play the guy on day one. Do I want to lick? I want to lick. Definitely don't want to hex a 1 5. I wonder if I would mutate this Muck Morpher if I hit, like, Malagos. I could always just get sapped if I mutate, that's kind of sketchy. Oh, uh, this is a real janky deck. Could try to storm that thing out, but it doesn't really seem worth it. Big bad Archmage, definitely don't mutate that guy. Oh, that's a minion. That's got to be one of the best. I have plenty of health, so Karen Bloodhoof probably would have been slightly better. Damage Dragatron would have been quite a bit better. But beyond that, this guy's looking nice. Alright, so he gets two cards. Don't vendetta me, bro. Oh, that's pretty good, too. And the sap. Man, that was a hell of a turn. So, do I kill the spirit of the shark? I guess I can do it pretty easily with the Zilliax draw. I can also go lightning storm, and if I miss, I can always just lick it. I guess I can just frog lick it. Frogs are kind of bad into this thing, though. But I can clean it up with Storm and then on 8 just play Safeguard. Let's just frog it up. Ha! <laughs> this guy's a toast. I'm glad I killed that shark. This definitely looks like a lightning storm board to me. Kill the SI7 agent that survived. So yeah, next turn I'm going to be on 6 mana. Looks like a pretty clean safeguard. Whoa, Portal Keeper's in his deck. I actually like this card, but at the same time as liking it, I kind of think it seems bad. It seems good here, though. Like, if I play Safeguard into it, his 4-drop just kills it. Maybe I run my Zilliax into it. I could go, like, Zilliax and then mutate Zilliax. I think I like the look of that. Give me a good one. Not great, but I gave my guy plus two, plus three. So many 2-2 two, two rush guys. What's the play here? Maybe just hex this guy? He probably doesn't play anything bigger. Could just slam the Malagos. I leave myself open to just eating nine. Nine is not really all that much, especially when I have the lightning storm follow up. Lightning storm safeguard follow up. Let's throw down the goose. He has mana to go lackey tog waggle. Lackey tog waggle prep treasure. That would be sick.
Nothing has to survive damage, right? So a lightning storm deals with it pretty cleanly. Soul of the forest. The fuck out of here. Still think my lightning storm play looks pretty good though. Wow, he took a trade for me. What a guy. So Storm does 7 to 8. I don't have lethal, do I? 4, 10, 17. If I had a lightning bolt, it would be lethal. Or another one of these. But it looks like I'm just clearing. Go there. Do that. Storm. Play a taunt. Now this Hagatha scheme, let's see, without Malagos, it's at four. So the Hagatha scheme on its own is getting pretty good. How much is this worth to you? Are these both random cards? I know he's played Blink Fox and he used the Burglar with a Shark in play. I don't remember exactly what all non-rogue cards he's played though. Shadow form. Moonfire? Nope. Well, I'm too overloaded to play the big bad Archmage, unfortunately, so... Let's just do this and set up lethal instead. Oh! 2-2 two -two rush, let's go. Dude, this thing looks gnarly. So he hero powers the Malagos. Um, yeah, it looks like there's no way I have lethal this turn. So I could go like walking fountain, hit it once, lightning bolt it, push six. This guy would be a 4-3, which is out of range of his hero power. That seems pretty good. I think it'd be really hard to lose from this position, but this is a good play. More 2-2s. Two what if he just hit all of his 2-2s? Two he does have 7 left in the deck, so I guess that would be pretty good. If he gets something good here, I'm actually too overloaded for my Archmage next turn, which might leave me in some trouble. But what could he realistically hit? He's already spent four mana. I guess like Brawl, Blizzard, Shrink Ray. What's his health at? Do I kill him with Shrink Ray? I still have four in play. Although I guess he could kill my Alakir, so I'd only have... Or no, it'd still be four, because uh, the, the other guy gets an attack power as well. He has to kill my fountain. Okay. Top 10, let's go. 